Hey guys and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this little granny square heart pattern that I have here. It was a really fun pattern and was really easy to do. So I thought it would be a good pattern to show you guys how to do for Valentine's Day that's coming up very very soon. So the materials that you're going to need for this is I'm picking a red yarn, of course, for the heart, and you can pick any outside a background color that you want. It doesn't really matter, and you can pick any shade of red, but I'm also using this white yarn. Both of these yarns are Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It's the yarn I use in all of my projects, and I highly recommend it. And the other things that you're going to be using, of course, are a pair of scissors to cut your ends, and a crochet hook, obviously. The crochet hook that I'm using, you can really use any size for this, it doesn't really matter, but I'm using my size G crochet hook that I always use. So, I'm going to get started here today with the red, because we're going to start at the center, and then we're going to make our way around to the white. We're going to start with a loop for our hook, of course. And we're going to start with a chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And just a heads up for any of you guys that don't know how to do any stitches, if you're very new to crocheting and you're just browsing around YouTube to see what you can make, um, I recommend signing up for my beginner crochet basics course my email course that I just launched uh, last week, sometime a couple days ago. I have a seven day email course set up for you guys where I send you all of the basic stitches that you need to learn to know how to do crochet and how to crochet a granny square as well, which is basically this, but of course this one's just a little bit different because you switch colors in the middle of the row instead of just going straight around with one color. So if you want to learn how to do the basic granny square first and these basic stitches, if you don't know how, go ahead and check that out. It'll be down in the description below. And also I'm doing a month-long giveaway. Everybody that signs up for my email list will be entered into a giveaway, and I have two prizes available. A $25 gift card to a crochet shop of your Choice is a second place prize winner, and the first place prize winner is a $50 gift card to a craft store of your choice. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check that out below. Sorry, I forgot to say that before, the, before I started the video. Anyway, so six, six single crochet, then I'm going to go into the first stitch here, and I'm going to slip stitch. Now I've created a little ring where I'm going to be inserting my stitches in. So I'm going to be doing a chain three, but um, one of the things, one of the tips that I have for you guys to get rid of this excess string here so that you don't have to cut it, is kind of just weave it into your chain. So like make a crochet, make your chain three, push it back through the other side, and make another chain so that it kind of stays almost pretty much hidden away. We'll hide it away the rest of the way when we go back around. So we have a chain three, then we're going to do a double crochet in the center circle. Again, if you don't know how to do any of these stitches, I have the course set up where I teach you how to do all of these stitches. So I'm going to be going a little bit faster than if you're a complete beginner. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you already have seen my past videos and you know how to do all these stitches. We're going to do another double crochet. So we have a cluster of one chain and two double crochet. Now I'm going to do a chain two. I'm going to turn our work so that this is to the right. And I'm going to do another cluster of three double crochet. That's pretty much the basis of a granny square. It's just the way that I do it at least. I don't know. There may be other ways to do it, but it's just three clusters of double crochet and a chain two, which we will do next. So now I want this one at the bottom, this chain, this cluster of three at the bottom, and this cluster at the right. And I'm going to do a chain two, which I've already done. And then I'm going to do a, another cluster of three double crochet.
So now I have three right here. I'm going to do another chain two, turn it once more again. So now I have three clusters. I'm going to do one more so that I will have four in total. So chain two after your last cluster and do three more double crochet like so and then do a chain two. Now I'm going to turn one more time and this is, will be our first row almost complete. The way that we complete it is we go in between these two stitches right here in between the chain three and that first double crochet that we did and we're going to do a slip stitch. So there we go, that's our first row completed. So now what we're going to do is a chain three. Basically what we're going to do is, is mimic this pattern that we've done here. So a chain three and then in this corner right here we're going to do a double crochet. Back in that corner I'm going to do another double crochet. Now what I'm going to do here is a chain two and go into, we're going to skip all of this and I'm going to go into this corner here and do a cluster of three double crochet. Then we're going to do a chain two. I'm going to hold this to the side here and do another cluster of three double crochet. There's one, two, and three. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this pattern, a chain two, and then this corner three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet. I'm going to repeat that in these next two holes here. And so I'll pause the video, work my six double crochet and a chain two in each corner, and when I get back I will show you how to work this corner right here. Okay, so I just finished my two clusters, I've done my chain two, and now I'm back at this corner here. So what I'm going to do is the exact same thing, my cluster of three double crochet and my chain two. And just as before, going into in between those two stitches of the chain three and the double crochet and doing a slip stitch. So as you can see, some of you have done a uh, granny square before, that this is basically the exact same way, or it is the exact same way that you would do a granny square normally. This next row is when it gets a little bit different and we actually start forming the heart. So we're going to do one more cluster of our normal granny square. So chain three. Back in this corner here, do two double crochet. And your chain two. This is where we're going to be switching colors to your outside color, white, whatever it may be. The way that I switch colors is I'm going to keep my hook in here and I'm going to take my yarn, wrap it around my hook, and pull one side through. Then I'm going to take my yarn and tie it into a knot so that it's attached to my loop. Now I'm going to pull this around, pull this tight so that it's around my hook as I want it to be. Then I'm going to grab, drop this color into the back, I don't need it right now, and I'm going to grab this color. Wrap around as I normally would, as if I was working with the red, and I'm going to go into here and do three double crochet. And as you can see, now that I've done one, I've dropped the red completely and I have nothing but white on my hook. Now if I pull that and take this red, 
pull it nice and tight. And I'm going to go to my red and cut it off, leaving a little bit to sew in at the end, to like hide in in the end. Now I'm going to do my chain two with my white. Pull my hook a little bit and feed my red through as I have fed as I fed the white through before. Like so. Tie the red on. Secure the white. If you get stuck, like I just did here, with the red not being able to go through, just hold the red string like this and pull the white. It'll move the knot out of your way so that you can get the white nice and tight around your hook. So now, now that my white is my white yarn is tied around my hook, I'm gonna drop that towards the back, pick up my red, wrap around as I normally would and do my corner stitches as normal. So three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet. So what this part is, and then I'll do my chain two. So what this part has started is this little bump right here. So this is the row that we're working on currently. And it's just that little bump that's going to make it look like the heart. So now what we're gonna, or the stitches we're going to be working on are these two right here. So we have two more clusters of red crochet, of red yarn, and then we're going to do the white again. So go ahead, do, er, well technically we only have one, but yeah, that's the corner, sorry. We have one left. So go ahead and do this one extra one here, three double crochet and a chain two, and we're going to do our pattern again as we did with the white, oops, I never chained, I never cut it off. Okay, so cut that off, leaving a little bit of string to weave in so that it doesn't come undone. Then we're going to take our white, and tie it like so, oh, there's a little bit of room there, geez, tie it like so, insert the hook, pull it through, oops, Did I do my chain two? Yeah, I did. And start our corner. And start our corner as we normally would. So we're going to do two clusters of white. The whole corner is going to be white. One double, two double. Three double and chain two. Come over here, cut our red, and reattach it. So now where we're working is we've just done this corner. We're going to attach the red again and then cut off and do two more white. So we're at the corner now, we're at the bottom. Pull that red out of the way, do my three double crochet in red and my chain two, my chain two, cut the white, reattach it, And now we're going to do our other corner. 
Oops. Grab the white. Our cluster of three, chain two and three, just like we did before. It's a lot easier to do this if you've already if you already know how to do a granny square. It's a lot easier to do, of course, because then all you really have to master is how to change colors and when to actually change them to create that heart shape. All right, so now. If we look at our original pattern, let me zoom out here, there we go. We look at our original pattern, we're on this row right here. So now we have, we need to do two more red. So finish off this corner and do one more red. And then we have just one row of white left and we're done. Run one full row of white and then we are done. So, cut that off. and reattach. Hopefully we can get that white out of the way. There we go. cluster of three, chain two, and then we're going to go in this corner right here, do our last cluster of three, chain two, and then just as before, in between these two stitches here, the chain three and the double crochet and slip stitch. Okay, so now as you can see, you actually have a heart. So now the only thing left to do is attach white as you normally would here for a normal gra granny square, crochet one row of white, no changing colors, and you will have your granny square completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for those of you that don't know how to attach your yarn, I'll show you quickly, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to sew in all of these edges. So, so you could either do it this way, let me show you two ways, you could either do it this way, as we have been doing, or if you're changing rows, at, or changing colors at the end of a row, you could do a single crochet, I usually like to do a single crochet, and cut your yarn, because when you pull through, it'll already be knotted for you. And I'm gonna go in the corner here, you can just attach your yarn here, like that. So, go ahead and work your sing one row of regular crochet, white crochet, and I'll meet you back when you're done. Okay, I'm back. I've finished my row, and as you can see, it is exactly as the other one was. Pretty cool, huh? So now what we've got to do is weave in all of these ends. What I've done, and what you may have noticed when you were going around, is some of the time, some of the places that we've changed yarns became a little bit loose. And usually what I do is I just pull it and I tighten it and then I crochet right over it and then it fixes it right up and you don't even see any of it if you've done it correctly, hopefully. And a lot of the white yarn I've weaved into my work already so that a lot of that's already hidden except for this one. This one's the last one I just did. And of course the red I kind of left out because it's not the same color as the color we were going around with, of course. So now you can either you know, weave in your red with a needle if you've made your end long enough. I usually just use a crochet hook. Many people prefer to use a needle. But I'm just kind of gonna... I don't really know how I want to do this. Kind of just gonna... go under the stitches, I guess. Normally people don't look at the back anyway. 
So because there's no white over here for this one, I'm just going to go under these white stitches here so I can see as little bit as possible from the red. And then just go through and weave it through all of the, make, like kind of push it towards the red stitches and then weave it through so that you don't actually see it. And go under these, get it in there nice and tight so that you are completely hidden away and secure as well because you want to make sure that this stuff doesn't come out. But if you've so if you've crocheted it right it shouldn't. And then I'm just gonna cut off the little kind of fluffy end there. And there you go. It's hidden away. You can't even tell it was there. Of course you can see a little bit of it, but when you look at the front, it's as good as gone. So you can go ahead and do that for all of these. Kind of just weave them through and I usually try to keep mine at the back as much as possible, like weave it through the front, of course, because you have to, but if I can cut it off at the back where no one's really going to be looking, it doesn't really matter if, it's, if the edges are like shown or if it, the either the yarn is frayed or anything because it'll be in the place that nobody will be looking. There's that one, and that one is gone ahead and away too. So I'm going to go ahead, weave in all of my ends, weave in this one as well, cut off the white ends that I haven't cut off but have already weaved in, and um, I'll be right back. Alright, there we, there we go. All of my ends are nice and woven in. So, there we go. Our crochet granny square heart pattern. So if you want the written pattern for this, it is on my blog. I will link it down below. If you want to see how to do a normal granny square, and like I said before, you don't know how to do any of these stitches, I have my beginner crochet course that I just launched literally like two, three days ago. I already have quite a few subscribers in there, so I'm really happy about that, really glad that everybody seems to be enjoying it. And I also have a, another course um, under construction right now that I will be hopefully launching before the first subscribers get through this new course, and it's going to be all about granny squares. At least that's how I have it set up right now. So. If you want to check out that, you have to sign up for my email list. You don't have to, but if you want the latest information on that, sign up for my email list, and I will be emailing everybody, hopefully before people get through this course, about the next course. If not, um, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Follow me on my socials. Everything will be down below, because I'll also be saying on there when I'll be launching my Granny Square course and hopefully I have to have um, I would like to have other courses set up very very soon for you guys to go through and enjoy make sure you hit the little bell to be notified when I upload check out my Etsy all that all those all those great links will be down below and if you enjoyed I hope to see you in the next one bye bye